Hey guys, this is Nutman, uh, the Danish case model. I've been uh, asked many times in my project log how uh, how on earth I, I sleep cathodes like this, CCFLs, why I do it, what are the pitfalls. Um, so let me show you how I do that. Okay, take a look. Okay, in this video I've chosen to work with a green CCFL. And yeah, as you can see, it's really powerful. <laughs> It's not hot like I'm indicating here. Uh, no heat comes of it at all. Well, almost no heat. You can grab it like this and hold it. You can feel it's, it's slightly warm, but not 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 too much. But it's it's too much. It's really too powerful. So let's strip it of its uh, case and uh, and sleeve it. We want to remove the plastic tube around the CCFL. Uh, to do that, you need some rather powerful pliers like this that can really grab on and then you need for delicate work a set of side nippers now even I make mistakes uh, I want to show you in this video I started <laughs> using the pliers for this breaking off the shell like this uh, the entire length that's really not necessary and uh, I actually broke the the tube inside you'll see that in a minute now, and what I'm doing here, putting it inside a plastic bag, is a good idea because then you won't get those bits and pieces flying all over the place. And look at me going at it, I'm really aggressive. And, oh, there I broke it. <laughs> there we have it. Let's see if there's a better way to do this. Now, what you really want to do is to take off the plug in the other end of the CCFL. Um, there are, it's, those wires are secured by some, some clips. Uh, you cannot really see them in this shot, but they're there. I'm pointing at them right now uh, with a little needle, and you want to press down the pins and then pull it in that direction, yes. Or not pull it, but push it in that direction using the needle. So, let me see. I push down the security pins and try to move it this way from left to right in this one. And uh, there we go. I pushed down the security pins. I was able to pull out the wire. Uh, I can do the same with the other one. There you go. Rather easy if you know how to do it. Before you've done this, you've of course marked which of the wires that will go where, but I know what's going on here, so it's not really useful for me. Now, let's take our CCFL again, and unlike the last time where I just tried to break it off all the way up and down here, we found out that was not good, that was a big no-no, right? Uh, let's be a little bit more minimalistic and delicate this time. So, you would take your plastic bag still, and uh, put the CCFL inside it. Yeah, like that. And then take your pair of pliers, put them inside the plastic as well. Come on, yep. And these go inside, and you try to grab hold of either ends of the of the CCFL uh, and try to break it off gently here. I would recommend the other end than that, that one I'm I'm showing you here. But that uh, try to break it off slightly, and you should be able to pull out the tube. Okay, and fast forward to me having broken off the CCFL at the at the right end, at the correct end, so now I can just pull it out of the tube like that. Uh, and I've also used the side nippers for breaking off. Well, as I'm demonstrating here, I had to do some cutting here to to break off the the last uh, end because it was stuck in there due to some gluing going on. So I can just take it off like that. I'll take it out like that. But uh, if it hadn't been glued, you know, I would probably have been able to, well, having removed the, the, these two wires uh, at the end, like I showed you before, I would probably have been able to just, uh, let me get that last bit on to demonstrate it for you fully. Uh, if the that end had still had been whole, uh, I would have been able to just pull it out like that uh, and of course I would have had to take off the that's why I had to take off the the plug in the end because it would just have come uh, would have come right off 
that's the proper way. Okay, there you have it. The CC fell is out of its house housing. As you can see, it's it's the reason I'm doing this uh, is because it's much smaller. It's much easier to fit it in everywhere in the in the in the case right now. Um, and you want to put the plug back on, of course. Uh, and you have, of course, marked which of the wires that go where. I didn't need to do that because I've done this dozens of times now. Um, but you plug them back in, they can only go in one direction. The security clip has to grab hold of where it was grabbing hold before. So you just put each wire into the correct hole and make sure that they're that the security clip has has grabbed on and that it's sitting really good like that now and one last thing you want to do is to uh, to isolate the CC fell and uh, because it has a live wire running on the outside and you don't want to get any shocks from that uh, trust me I've tried it use regular tape for that let me show you how okay, you take the tape and you pull out a piece that's the same length as the CCFL uh, are slightly overlapping the live wire as I said before because you want to isolate over all of it so and you apply it just stretch it and put it on the on the CCFL tube like that and then you start folding the tape around the tube nice and easy so it uh, it sits really tight to the tube I've, I've been rather sloppy in this video, <laughs> uh, but uh, you get the general idea. So let's speed up the video and and uh, get to the to the end of it. Yeah, folding nicely around it, and uh, one ply isn't enough. I'm taking a second ply as well, folding it like that. Okay, there you go. Let's plug it in and see if it will still turn on. Da, 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 da. Uh, there you go and as it's isolated now that live wire won't be a problem it's still rather cool yeah I mean you can feel the heat from it but you don't get any shocks and you still get oh you get a little lightsaber like that and you can play around with it vroom vroom okay let's get on with the sleeving part I've just taken some uh, MDPC sliving here. It's it's blue. Maybe not the best color to to put inside a uh, to put around a a green CCFL. But you get the idea. I mean, you can play around with as many uh, colors of sleeving as you want. If you would have been sleeving a uh, a, a UV uh, CCFL like that. It would have been uh, lighting up brightly blue where, with that color of sleeving around it, um, because of the sleeving being being uh, reactive to UV lights. But let's take some black for now. And as I slide slit this over, you can see how the light is slightly being dimmed. It's much more controlled now. It's a well. If that's what you want, at least it's it's much more controlled. And yeah, uh, that's that's the way to do it. You want to cut the end like that. Uh, apply a piece of heat shrink and on either ends, and you're you're ready to go. And on a final note, here are some of the cathode I've been sleeving in the past. Uh, this was really early when I discovered the technique. Oh, it still looks nice lighting up the motherboard like that I think. Rather controlled. Not too much light, not too little light. But then I thought why I stop there? Why not go multicolored like this? So I sleep some UV cathode because I want some blue in there as well. Uh, not just that uh, ultraviolet light kind of purple uh, so the blue would balance it out and it works really well but thanks for watching see you next time bye